Hi kindergartners, welcome back for some more read alouds today. We are going to be finishing up our story about the Gila Monsters Burrow. I think we're finishing it today. Yeah, I think this is the last section that we have for it. Um, and then, so we'll continue where we left off yesterday. And then I have The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. This one is fun. I like Eric Carle. He's one of my favorite authors, so I have a lot of books by him. <laughs> and then last we have My Name Is. So this will be an alphabet story. Hmm. Okay, so I'll go ahead and continue where we left off with the Gila Monster. So yesterday we talked a little bit about what Gila Monsters eat. Remember? They eat birds' eggs, um, insects, worms, small lizards, rats, frogs, mice, and baby birds. So that's the kind of food that a Gila monster eats. Today we're going to learn about the eggs and what kind of babies a Gila monster has. So we'll read about it. We'll just we'll jump in. All right. Gila monster eggs. In spring, male and female Gila monsters come together to mate. About eight weeks after mating, a female Gila monster lays her eggs. Using her claws, she digs a shallow hole in the ground. She lays between two and twelve eggs in the hole. Then, she covers them with sand. So here's a pair of Gila monsters. There's a boy and a girl. After laying her eggs, a female Gila monster leaves them. She does not take, of her e take care of her eggs or her babies after they hatch. Whoa. So here's the female Gila monster laying her eggs. Here's the egg. Could you imagine if your mom laid you or your mom had you and then just left you to take care of yourself? Wow. So she's just going to lay her eggs and then let them hatch by themselves. That's kind of crazy. Wow. All right. Uh, Gila monster eggs have soft leathery shells. The eggs in this picture are life size. Use a ruler to measure how big they are. Whoa, so if you look at this picture, this is the same size as, uh, this is what it looks like in real life. This is how big it is. So I did bring a ruler and then we can measure it and see, we'll do how many, we'll see how big it is. So it's about, it's about two and a half inches long. Or we can do centimeters and we can measure it's about six centimeters. So the Gila monster's egg is like, it's like this big. Wow. So if you have a ruler at home, go to six centimeters or two and a half inches. And then you can see how long the, how big the Gila monster's egg is in real life. That's not, that's kind of long. Hmm mini monsters. It takes about four months for baby Gila monsters to grow inside their eggs. When they're ready to hatch, they break out of their eggs. Then they crawl up through the sand to the surface. The little Gila monsters look just like their parents, but much smaller. That's a baby Gila monster. There's a baby Gila monster hatching from the egg, and then there's another one in the back. A baby Gila monster is just over six inches long. It weighs about the same as seven quarters. So if you have seven quarters, that's how much a baby Gila monster weighs. And then if we look at our ruler, six inches. So from here, from the zero to six, that's how long a baby Gila monster is. So like, whoa. So you can look at that at home too if you have a ruler. That's pretty cool. If a Gila monster lays her eggs in April and it takes four months for the babies to grow, in what month will the babies hatch? That's a good question. Let's see if we can find out. So if they lay it in April and it takes four months, we can say April, May, June, July, August. So four months from April, April is August. That's when the babies will hatch. And it's April right now. So if you were a Gila monster having babies, they would hatch in August. Huh, that's pretty cool. Growing up. 
When they hatch, baby Gila monsters take care of themselves. They find eggs and insects to eat. eat. To keep cool in summer and warm in winter, they take shelter in small holes or in cracks between rocks. As they get bigger and stronger, they start to dig burrows. At three years old, they are adults and ready for their grown-up lives in the desert. Whoa, at three years old, they're adults? Oh my gosh. A young Gila monster is right here, and there's a bird egg, and there's its little tiny teeth. Can you see them? It's got super, super, super small teeth. Um, both adult and baby Gila monsters have venomous bites. Their small teeth are covered with venom or poison. The lizards can use their dangerous bite to protect themselves against coyotes and large birds that eat them. That's really cool. It's hard to see their teeth in this, in this picture, but they're like, they're really, really small right there. Huh. And that is it. This is our science lab. So these are some activities that you can do. So a Gila monster's year. So you can sh draw a calendar to show the life cycle of a Gila monster. Um, and then these are some of the words that we learned. There's a burrow, the desert, a mate, reptiles, scales, and venomous. Cool. That was a good nonfiction book. The end. I learned a lot about Gila monsters. <laughs> Thanks for reading that with me. All right, now we're gonna continue on to The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carr. We'll find out what is this grouchy ladybug doing and why is she so, or he, why are they so grouchy? All right, it was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. So an aphid is a very small insect, and they suck the juice from leaves, and then the leaves die. So ladybugs eat aphids, and that's good for the trees, the shrubs, and other plants that have leaves. Cool. So there you can see all the little aphids that um, is sucking all the juice out of the plants, and then the ladybugs are coming up to eat some of the aphids so the leaf doesn't die. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the li friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the, great la the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Do you want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough to fight. And the grouchy ladybug flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. 
At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the Groucho Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough to fight, said the Groucho Ladybug as it flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, want to fight, said the Groucho Ladybug. If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. <laughs> oh, you're not big enough to fight, said the Groucho Ladybug as it flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the Groucho Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the Groucho Ladybug, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the Groucho Ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the Groucho Ladybug, and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale flippers, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across all the land. And at six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. <laughs> the end. I'm glad that grouchy ladybug learned to share. Oh my gosh. It kept trying to fight everybody, and it was the smallest one. Hmm. Kind of silly. Alright, this one is My Name Is. This one is by Alice Lynn illustrated by Lynn Crevice. Let's find out what is going on here. A, my name is. Ah, okay. A, my name is. A, my name is Alex. My best friend's name is Angie. We live in Alabama and we sell alligators. B, my name is Becca. My best friend's name is Billy. C. We live in California, and we sell coconuts. Hmm. D. My name is David. My best friend's name is Daniel. We live in Damascus, and we sell diamonds. E. My name is Ethel. My best friend's name is Emma. We live in Ethiopia, and we sell elephants. F. My name is Frankie. My best friend's name is Frida. We live in Guatemala, and we sell giants. H. My name is Hannah. My best friend's name is Harry. We live in Honolulu, and we sell hippos. My name is, or I, my name is Ian. My best friend's name is Ida. We live in Indonesia, and we sell iguanas. J. My name is Jackson. My best friend's name is Janice. We live in Kyoto and we sell kittens. My name is Lisa. My best friend's name is Lily. We live in Louisiana and we sell lobsters. M. My name is Maya. My best friend's name is Mickey. We live in Minneapolis and we sell Martians. And my name is Nathan. My best friend's name is Nola. Oh, we live in Ohio and we sell oil. P. 
P, my name is Pedro. My best friend's name is Pablo. We live in Puerto Rico and we sell parrots. Q, my name is Quentin. My best friend's name is Quincy. We live in Quebec and we sell quail. R, my name is Reba. My best friend's name is Rita. We live in Sicily and we sell salami. T, my name is Tina. My best friend's name is Tammy. We live in Tallahassee and we sell turtles. My name is Ursula. My best friend's name is Uli. We live in Uruguay and we sell umbrellas. V, my name is Violet. My best friend's name is Vinny. We live in West Virginia and we sell waffles. X, my name is Xavier. My best friend's name is Xerxes. We live in Zana Xanadu and we sell xylophones. I don't know how to say that word, Xanadu? Hm. Y, my name is Yuri. My best friend's name is Yoda. We live in Yugoslavia and we sell yo-yos. My name is Zelma. My best friend's name is Zoe. We live in Zambia and we sell zippers. The end. Cool. That was a fun book. Did you notice all of those words, most of the words started with the letter that they were talking about? Like for the alligator, the name was Alex, Alligator, Angie, Alabama. That was a fun story. Thank you for joining me for these stories, you guys. Um, I will see you again tomorrow for some more read-alouds. I love you, I miss you, take care of each other, and enjoy the activities down below, right? Bye, kindergarten.